Do you know what I've realized? The best design tools are the ones you barely even notice. You're not distracted by menus. You're not thinking about updates or file exports. You are simply just creating. That flow state, that's rare. But this week, I built something from scratch, a brand name called Melts. And the entire thing was made in one tool. Right from sketches to mockups. One space, absolutely no friction. Now, if you've seen my last video where I broke down the other logo, you know I like creating full brand systems and not just logos. So, for Mel's 2, a modern bakery brand, I wanted a design to be something clean, versatile, and definitely bold. A logo that feels sharp even on a business card, but also adapts on merchandise, social media, packaging, and obviously on the website. All right, so what is the catch? I wanted to do all of this in one tool. One space where vector design, texture, fonts, and mockups, all of them live together. Let's start with the sketching process. Started rough, like I always do, on the iPad, with just free form of sketching, the base idea, and nothing really polished. A few lines, some geometry, a concept that felt right. This is the part where you don't worry about perfection. It's just get the shape out of your head and onto the canvas. I've said this multiple times and I'm going to say it again. There's a rule I follow of sketching at least 20 different concepts or iterations. This is a rule I have been following, my team follows, and I know a lot of successful designers follow the same rule. You see, when you create those initial three or five concepts, all of those concepts will definitely never be original. Because when you start sketching, even though you don't have your laptop open or your internet on, you will subconsciously create something that you might have seen a few weeks ago or months ago, and that results out on paper, be it intentional or not. So you always need to go beyond those five, beyond those 10, beyond those 15 concepts that you create, and then you start reaching the ones that are actually unique and fit with the brand. It might also happen that you might take up the first concept you created, but you will never know that the first one is perfect for you until you try at least 20 times of it. So trust me, this process has really helped me and my team, and I'm sure it will help you too. Now, after this year is where I usually bounce between four tools. I sketch in one, vectorize it another one, download fonts from some other website and find mockups of somewhere completely different. You know the drill. But instead, I opened up one tool, Linearity Curve, and I did not leave it at all. I dropped in the sketch, hit auto trace, and boom, it converted into a green vector path instantly. Then I cleaned it up using the pen tool, merged shapes with the shape builder, and aligned everything in just a few clicks. I mean, look at the interface. It is clean, no noise, just the tools that do what you need without making me click 10 things just to get there. You can even adjust the opacity to blend text into the background content, keep experimenting until you find the perfect mix of style and readability. I started testing fonts without leaving the tool. And you know, as graphic designers, we go on 10 different websites just to find the perfect font. But you don't need to do that anymore because Curve has its own font library. So no more downloading random files from shady font websites. I picked something with strong legibility and then explored a few more modes. Bold and minimal, light and modern, wide versus condensed. Once I was happy with the font I got and I locked the form, then I started playing with the colors. I didn't want basic black and white, so I built three color variations to choose from. Primary color variations, light on dark, and monochromatic variations. I tried all of these three, but I think this is the one which I liked the most and went ahead with. This part is very important because it tells me the logo system is solid or just cool graphic. There's one really interesting method to know whether this color works for your brand or not. Just simply take your logo with the colors that you've chosen, turn it into black and white, with the exact color, tone and color shade that you have picked out. Now, once it is in black and white, check whether are you able to read the logo, not only from the distance, but also flip it, turn it, twist it, do whatever you want, but try to see if the logo is still legible. Try to see if the font is still legible when it's turned black and white. Because when you turn your chosen colors to a black and white version, and if the text is not visible, that means the two colors are not contrasting enough and then later on you'll get difficulty of color pairings and choosing this for your brand colors. Alright, now moving on to everyone's favorite part, the mockups. This is where the project really comes to life. Now normally I would open some other app or tool for mockups, but I searched t-shirt mockup right here in the linearity tool, dragged my logo in, resized and done. Then I tested it on digital thumbnails, Instagram banners, packaging labels, and a desktop header. All of this from the same workspace. No exporting, no smart objects. It felt like the tool was adapting to me and not the other way around, which usually happens when you test out new tools. Now, what made this whole experience different? It's not just that Curve is fast, which I mean, frankly, it was. It's the fact that I didn't leave my flow at all. 
no tabs, no downloads, no syncing issues. It just moved as fast as I did. From my iPad to my Mac to my iPhone, I could pick up the project wherever I was. You know how much I love Apple and this is designed natively for Apple devices. And honestly, it actually also feels like it. So yeah, Melz is just a fake brand I made up this week, but the process, that is very real. If you're building a portfolio, practicing logo design, or just want to experiment like this, like how I did, you should definitely try out Linearity Cove. It's free to start, so why will you not? It also works across devices, and for me, it just lets me focus on what actually really matters without getting distracted, which is the design. The link to check it out will be in the description. Try it and build something this week. And if you actually do end up building something, send it my way and would love to see what you made. That's it from me today, design folks. I'll see you in the next one.